it to say at the time. Uh, he's not being honest as he's already condemned the lie of white supremacy, meanwhile supporting Jewish supremacy. Yes, yes, well, there you are, you see. A lot of people think that's great. I mean, there was a case once against the mine owners before, uh, was it Vesting Day in 1948, when the mines were all nationalized. Manny Shinwell, Emmanuel Shinwell, was the Minister of Fuel and Power. And he was a remarkable politician. I was very, very upset about something he did, though. He had politics of envy. Envies are, envy and jealousy are terrible, terrible qualities. You know, well, they're not qualities. They're terrible blights to have. And, um, you know, the, the complete antithesis of qualities, actually. Envy, jealousy, malice, pride, the seven deadly sins. And some people are guilty of the lot. And um, he plowed up the garden of a massive, massive country house that I'm very fond of. Big country house in Yorkshire, just to spite the aristocrat because his family had been mine owners. And these aristocrats were very, very, very popular in the area. The house was loved. The gardens were loved by all the miners and their families. And it was just wrong. And right to this day, I would argue that Manny Shinwo, I know he's no longer here to defend himself, was wrong, wrong, wrong to do that, to that beautiful big country house in Yorkshire. There you are. Uh, the problem is here we are arguing about American politics for sorting our own glass houses. Polly Koss, I can't believe you said that. You and I must be septic. And I'll tell you for why, Paul. I was thinking this morning, I put on my national radio wakes me up in the morning so I can get the news. So six o'clock, five to six, I get the daily tweet, bird sounds. And then I get uh, BBC Radio 4 with Today. And uh, I like to have a, a bit of a catch up with what's happening. And um, the lead stories, of course, were very much America. And I thought we need to not get drawn into American news. It should be, and finally, in the United States, so there we are. That's the sort of idea. You know, so we need to find out what's happening in the United Kingdom. Get that always as the uh, the lead stories on our national news. I remember the former speaker, Betty Boothroyd, uh, dealing with the late Ian Paisley after he used the word that was not allowed. Nobody messed with Big Betty. She was great. Was, was she not a... Uh, a tiller girl, a dancer, Betty Boothroyd, I loved her. Polly Koss, the same lot of small hats who rule the US, also rule the UK. So there we are. There's God Saves telling you, Paul. Absolutely. So that's what's going on there. But no, I feel that um, our national news, if it's on our national broadcaster, the public service broadcaster, then we should always be leading with uh, with British news. Leading with British news. Anything in America is an and finally, you know, because we don't want to get sucked into the whole American thing. You see, Britain has always sold countries. So, uh, you know, checks have changed hands for countries that have been sold. And we need to have a sign that Britain is not for sale. And what worries me is there might be a too late uh, sign going up. So there you are. I see where you're coming from. God saves. That's a very fair point. Can I have a thumbs up, please? Very, very important, a thumbs up. Right. I'm going to do uh, a bit more sharing here, guys. Because I'm not sure the message is going to come. We have a general share. See if we can get the numbers up a little bit. I was talking to somebody the other day and they said, Scotty, you should have millions, millions watching these things because the program's superb. I said, well, it's a bit long. 
People like five minutes. Dinky do, Scotty. How are you? J-Dog. How lovely to have you with us, Dinky do. Fantastic. 